Hello. This is another tech review. This time, though, it's not a piece of technology. It's a DIY tool. I don't have many of these power tools, and recently my power screwdriver died, just as I needed it. So I've been looking at getting a new one, and the new one I've picked is actually here. <laughs> uh, this isn't the site that I actually got it from. This is Ryobi Direct, a web page I've picked at random. I'm not advertising them. I'm not supporting them. But the tool is the tool I'm going to be reviewing, and that is approximately the price I paid for it. I actually got this from B&Q, um, a local DIY store to the UK. And it comes in this heavy-duty sealed-in uh, plastic, and there's no obvious way in. Okay, so let's just go through what we've got. We have the driver itself, a set of screwdriver heads we've got a three positive drive Phillips uh, three flat ended on a plastic spindle I don't know if I don't know to store it we have the charger under here it's lithium ion there's obviously in and out there's the switch over which we'll go through uh, there's um, no change of battery on this it's an all in one unit so how long the battery lasts I think it's going to be important um, though there is this may be a way of getting in there, I don't know yet. So we have different torque settings and obviously the chuck. So it's new to Ryobi. Um, we have 12 different settings, sorry, the bag. This is actually a bag that comes with it, store it, which is one of the reasons I actually chose this unit. I want to keep it nice and a two year warranty. I'm going to primarily be using this for light DIY and mainly, mainly computer work, to be honest. So that's what it's for. Um, that's why I wanted the bag, because I'm going to take it place to place, uh, site to site, unit to unit. So I'm going to try and get in here. That's, that's one end cut off. Um, it wasn't easy to get through, these are just standard scissors. Um, and there's no way I can still get in there, so I need to take another side off. Um, but at least I know it's not been tampered with since, produ since it was produced, so... But there is a boon to it being this difficult to get into. There we go. I'm in two sides now. And it opens up. And so the first thing out is the bag. It's a Velcro top. There are instructions. Additional conformity declared CE declaration of conformity and the manual, which we'll have a look. So these are the original instructions for the operator of the manual. So it's a four volt lithium ion screwdriver, effectively. CSD41. Um, the full model number is CSD4107BG, which I'll put on the title of this video. Um, charger doesn't actually indicate where the charger goes in now, it goes in the base of the handle. Uh, we have a light, LED, we have the chuck, directions, yeah. It looks fairly standard. These instructions are quite clear, they, you know, they do exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, important essentially read these instructions. Do, it's a laser product. Is it not an LED? I thought it was just a light up LED. It just says LED there. It doesn't indicate that it's a laser product. But it says laser product. Class 1 LED. Oh, sorry. Class 1 LED product, not a laser product. The symbols are the same. Don't look directly into the LED. Electrical CV, yes. This is all good. Personal safety, etc. Always take care when you're doing DIY, folks. So, the motor weight, including battery, 4.47 kilograms, so 470 grams, it reckons. Not bad. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Three decibels running, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, does it say anything about the charge? 
When charging the screwdriver, the red light will illuminate on the handle of the screwdriver. This red charge light will go off when the screwdriver is fully charged. A normal usage, after normal usage, a minimum of 10 to 12 hours charging is required to fully recharge the screwdriver. Do not place it in the extreme heat. Remove the problem from the charge once it's fully charged when for use. Right, so adjusting the torque. So smaller the number, the lighter the torque. So one, two for small screws, three, four for soft material, five to seven for soft and hard materials, eight to nine for hard wood, ten to eleven for large screws, and full power applications is twelve. I assume there's actually a symbol. That's your symbol for it. So there you go. Have a look what else we got. There we go. Oh. Okay, there's actually a, another layer of plastic within. There we go. So we're in here. That just falls apart, unfortunately. So this pops straight out of the back of the whole thing. Charger. I've got the UK plug. Obviously, you may have different. Uh, there is a light on the charger as well that will tell us when it's active. It's a 25 milliamp, 4.5 volt, 160 milliamp. Sorry, input 20, 230, 240 volt, 50 hertz, so UK. Output 4.5 to 4.7 volts, 160 milliamps. Anyway, it's German made, so. Hopefully it's not going to explode in five seconds flat. Uh, they aren't going to snap anytime soon. This is quite hard, quite uh, good. We're going to try. They are just standard hexagon chucks, so we'll try it with some of my bog standard ones. And here's the puppy itself. Okay, it's a bit more nose heavy than I expected. Oh, it comes charged. So, center is locked. Push it over. And then push it back. So that's... I'll run it now until you hear it. That's the volume. We're on lowest power settings. So let's turn it all the way around to highest power settings. Sounds the same. And you can see as well, this hen has got Ryobi stamped on it. I don't know if you can, pardon me, I don't know if you can tell. So you can see this is spinning, this whole thing, the whole chuck. So that's good. Let's put that in the center. So it says quick change as well. So does it just push in? It does just push in. That's got a a very positive feel to it, but how does it release? Okay, so uh, this is just the one of the items from the actual set. There's a bevel, we push, the whole thing goes back. We push it forward, it comes off. So if you watch carefully, that is level. If we just push this in, that's now moved back. This is all reduced back so and if we push that forward again we watch it comes free quite nice a little bit counterintuitive I expected to pull it back put it in let go but it's automatic you don't do that you just seem to push it in if I can get it in the right angle there we go just like that. That wasn't it, that was me just getting it wrong. So that's quite nice, I like that. Um, it's a little bit awkward that way around. There we go. What I was doing was, I was trying to pull it out like like that by the tip. I've done it that way. It's fine. <laughs> it's just me. So it says on the back we can go down to uh, five Newtons per meter of torque. Uh, that's the max torque. 180 RPM with no load. Uh, there are 6.35 mil hexagon 
sockets. So, the first thing I'm going to do is pop behind me and get one of my standard headed ends, which are all missing when we're here. very old ones so we've got these they're all the same let's see if it uh, accepts this very old tip it does so that's compatible with all my old screwdriver tips this is obviously a very old battered one uh, what is that it's a Phillips 2 and this one is also a Phillips 2 Yep, and it doesn't want to come out, I can hold it by the tip and I can release it. And this one, uh, CRV6. That's good, like that. Good, yeah. It's taking it all in. What it seemed to do, by the way, was as it took in this unit, it went back until the notch. So this goes a little bit further back. So I like that. I'm going to keep this set separate to the old ones I've got. But this is now compatible with all my crossheads, all my uh, star ends, and all those fancy schmancy ones I've got. Um, quite like this um, the only thing I'm going to say is 10 to 12 hours charge time seems an awful long time um, so grip zone we've got this is all just grip it's actually got quite a lot of grip on the rear this is all grippable all here it, down here with the finger it's actually quite a nice touch I thought that was a door maybe to lift off the battery it's not that's actually where the charge light indicator is uh, the charge going in there um, but yeah you can just gently squeeze it or you've got just a finger the finger is actually indented if you check check out the profile you get just your finger in there and that's quite nice um, week 13 year 2016 so it's got an actual build date on it CSD 41 uh, 6.35 and I have a serial number, which I'm not going to show you. <laughs> um, they're all made in Germany. Now, I, someone would have to correct me in the comments below, but I believe Ryobi is the budget brand version of Bosch. Um, but this is the most expensive power tool I now own, um, bar I think my Bosch drill. Um, so yeah, it's certainly the newest I now own, obviously. It's uh, quite good. The packaging, by the way, for anybody that cares, is actually labelled PET, and it can be recycled. So all that's going to be recycling. I'm going to keep hold of the piece of information for a while, though, because it does state there is a two-year warranty. Um, this might all actually be packed back together, um, just in case I need it. But I'm feeling this, looking at initial impressions, it doesn't need anything. Let's just do one last thing. Let's look in here. Uh, there is actually in here, as you can see it, actually, if I pull it out, that is actually a, a, a pocket, like a side on pocket. Uh, that will, will it cross the cross? Yeah, so it will divide into two, but I don't see the point of that because I obviously want to put the screwdriver in. Now I see what I'm going to do. So the screwdriver is going in that way up. And I'm going to put this across like so. It sticks anywhere. This actually sticks anywhere in there. And what I'm going to do is stick this in 
across and then place the charger. So when I hold this now, I'm holding the top of the screwdriver in and I can pull them straight in there. There's no little pocket for them, which is a slight shame. And I'll put that in. So there it is in the bag. That is not fantastic. The, the two strips of Velcro go the entire height of the bag, they're about here. Uh, but I want to section it that way because I want to lay the screwdriver is laying here and the charger is now there. But it's going to keep it safe. It's fairly padded. That's quite nice. And it all comes in the bag and box with it so there's no fussing around. And it says Ryobi. Sorry. And I know that's my Ryobi. And um, I'll leave this one here.